Hello, welcome to Mainline Baits Carp Fishing TV, where today we've got a video that you've been asking for since we used this presentation in our last video, Day Session Tactics, and that's the Smart Liquid Solid PVA bags. So today I'm going to show you how to tie the rig, set up the lead system, as well as tie up and fill the bags properly. We're also going to be announcing the winner of our latest bait giveaway, so stay tuned for that. There's lots to get through, so let's get started. The rig for this presentation is really simple. You'll need some soft braid, a size 6 curve shank hook, some shrink tubing just to make a little kicker, I've then got some silicon tubing to position the hair on the hook, a standard boily baiting needle, and some sharp scissors. We're then going to be using a pastel barrel wafter. These are the cranberry orange. They make the perfect hook bait for this presentation. And then not forgetting, because we almost did, you're going to need some boilie stops. Okay, so we start the rig by pulling off some of the braid to make our hook link around about 15 centimeters or so. It's not too long a rig, but we've got plenty to work with. And then we're going to make an overhand loop at one end so that we can create our hair for attaching our hook bait. As you've probably seen throughout these videos, little knots like this, I like to use my baiting needle. Just find it a lot easier to do, less fiddly. And there we are, we've got a small loop for attaching our hook bait and bait stop. We can now take one of the cranberry orange pastel barrel wafters, thread it onto the needle lengthways, and then we can now place this onto the hair. And the reason we do this now so that the hair is the perfect length as we continue to tie the rig. Just put a hair stop in there, pull that down, and that's the hook bait secured into position. We can now just take off a little bit more hook link there. Like I say, you just want to have plenty to work with. You can cut that away from the spool. We're looking to have a rig quite short in length once it's tied, something between three to five inches long just so that there's a quick contact to that lead and now we're going to take a tiny little bit of silicon tubing like so and just thread that onto the braid again your needle makes this a lot easier to do just get that back towards the end there we go now we can take the hook and just carefully thread that through the silicon now be careful at this point not to push the point through the braid that is the danger when you're using a soft braid and a not coated braid and then now we can pull the hook bait up so that we can set the length of our hair and we've got that exiting just about opposite the barb of the hook can now take the hook link through the back of the hook so that we can tie a knotless knot. So there's three, four, five, six turns down the shank. Take that tag end back through the eye again, pull down tight, and that's our knotless knot made and the hook secured into position. Now we're gonna take the shrink tubing just so that we can make a little kicker and just cut off round about eight mil or so of that shrink tubing and then we can just thread our hook link down through that tubing pull that down the hook link down onto the eye of the hook just get a good grip of the hook link there just so that we can push that over just be careful you don't pull the hook into your finger and there we go that shrink tubing is in position and then being careful not to burn yourself or damage any of the components, just shrink that down over steam. And now we've got a nice kicker to help that hook turn. Okay, now for the lead setup, and an inline lead is by far the best lead for solid PVA bags. I like to drop the lead, so I'm using the Corda inline safety system, which has an inner sleeve that just fits inside the lead, and that means that my leader can be attached to that eye on the side of the sleeve and run outside of the lead, meaning it can drop. I can then attach my hook link to the eye of that sleeve, which is a big ring swivel. 
and I like to take the hook link through twice when I'm using a soft coated braid and then I'm going to pull that up fairly short there's only a couple of inches there that will extend once we tighten down the knot I'm just going to make an overhand loop and then take my tag end through that loop and around the hook link four to five times to create a grinner knot it's a super strong knot and it's perfect for this rig so there we go one more time that's five turns I'm now just going to moisten that hook link just with a little saliva and now we can just pull that down tight just take your time just teasing the knot just so that all those turns just butt up nicely and there we go that's tightened down all we need to do now is just trim away that excess tag end there we go we don't need that and there you go you can see it's quite a short rig only four inches but that's perfect for making quick contact between investigation from the fish and the resistance of the lead we can now take the sleeve put that back inside the lead and then as I mentioned earlier our leader runs down the groove on the outside of the lead and just bring the tail rubber down just a little bit of moisture on there before you attach it there we go push that tail rubber on just pull everything down nice and neat nice and tight and that's the lead set up complete as soon as a fish picks up that hook bait shakes its head the lead is discharged and we've got a much better chance of landing that fish right now let's put our PVA bag together and I'm using a size small solid PVA bag I'm just gonna open that up put two fingers inside the bag just to grip it and hold it open and the first thing I'm going to do is put some cloud nine ground bait down in the bottom of that bag it's a lovely fluffy ground bait very attractive just makes the end of that bag nice and heavy nice and compact but it's also going to help us position our hook bait so there we go you only want around a couple of centimeters in the bottom of the bag for the main fill of the PVA bag we're going to use the Spoiled and PVA pellet mix it's a superb mix of highly attractive pellets several different sizes so that we'll have a compact bag without any air pockets we don't want that that will make your bag wobble in flight we can then take a hook bait just drop that straight into the bottom of the bag followed by the lead just use the lead just to position your hook down in that ground bait and then we're going to put one scoop of pellet in and then grip our leader and just tease that lead up and just tap that pellet down so we've now got some separation between the lead and the hook I'm now going to take the fruit smart liquid and just put a good squirt of that inside the bag I don't have to worry about splitting the bag as the liquid is PVA friendly there we go masses of attraction in that smart liquid can now just change grip hold the bottom of the bag just open the top there we're going to go with another scoop of pellet one more again take the leader just lift that lead up a little bit increasing the separation to the hook bait a little shake just so it's compacting all those pellets down and then we're just going to add a few more pellets just to bring the level up just a couple of centimeters short of the top of the bag so that we can now grip it and just put a few twists on there tap it down again just to compact all the pellets then twist the top of the bag I'm now going to take some PVA tape and just pull away 10 centimeters or so of that tape snip that off and then I'm going to just wrap that around the top of my bag like so around a couple of times 
use one finger just to hold it in position so that nothing's slipping, everything's still nice, tight and compact. And then I'm gonna make just a simple two turn granny knot on the top of the bag. There we go, that's one. A little bit fiddly. But just take your time. There's two. And just pull that down tight. And that's the top of the bag all sealed off. It's obviously still a bit messy, so we need to tidy that up. So I'm just gonna trim off the tag ends of that PVA tape first. And then you could trim off the excess of the top of the bag. I just like to make a groove in it and then just wet my finger and just stick that down around the top of the bag. I just find then that you just get less residue stuck around the top of the tail rubber and that the PVA just melts away nicely. And there we go, the top of the bag is nice and neat and sealed off. We now need to just push the corners in of the bag, just again to make the bag more compact, more aerodynamic. And just stick them down just with a wet finger. So again, just push the corner in, pull the corner out of the bag, wet your finger, push it down just enough that it will stick down but not so wet that it will split the bag obviously little roll and there we go the corners are in and we've got a nice compact aerodynamic bag that's going to cast straight and true the first thing you can see here as the bag splits open is how the fill spreads onto what would be the lake bed and that can be a good thing for covering over lake bed debris and making sure that your hook bait is sitting in a good position ready to be found by the cart. We can now see the attraction leaking off of that bag. The smart liquid is spreading down along the bottom but it's also going up throughout the water column attracting fish and pulling them down from all levels. As the last of the PVA melts there's an explosive burst of attraction surrounding the feed and the hook bait. And now for the part you've all been waiting for, the draw for our day session tactics giveaway. And the winner is... Paul Wynn. Well done Paul. If you get in contact with us through our email address found here on YouTube or on our website and we can send out to you your day session bait bundle. That will include some choco boilies with matching hook baits and liquid, some pellets, high vis pop ups, some ground bait, and not forgetting some smart liquid. If you've got any questions about solid PVA bags, leave them in the comments box below, as well as if you've got any tips and tricks you'd like to share with everybody, again, leave them in the comments box. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that notification button so you know when our next video is coming out. If you don't yet subscribe to the channel, please hit that subscription button below. We'd really appreciate it. And if you'd like to watch more how-to videos, I'll leave links to those here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.